cultivar we're looking at here is Hall. Hall was released from the University of Georgia uh, about five or six years ago. It was a cross between Fry and Terra. And it was released as an early season uh, self-fertile bronze muscadine for um, commercial and U-pick operations. Uh, Hall was released as a replacement for Terra and Triumph. Uh, Terra had the problem in that it tended to have poor flavor some years. And Triumph had a problem with having berries that were a little bit too pink and not looking good for the commercial packers. And so we released Hall to try and replace those. Hall's done pretty well for us as an early season bronze cultivar. Uh, the vine is vigorous, grows pretty well. Uh, does not tend to overproduce like some self-fertile cultivars do early on. Uh, this has a pretty good crop load on it. This is a four-year-old vine here. As uh, Hall tends to have good crop load without having excessive crop that you have to thin some years. And so we do like that about Hall. Cluster size seems to be moderate uh, in size compared to some of the self-fertiles that set too many. One thing you'll notice about Hall is that nice bright yellow color to it. Uh, as it ripens, it tends to move towards yellow, uh, whereas something like Triumph, as it ripens, tends to turn pink. And so it has a little bit of a less muddy color for that reason. And it looks quite nice in a box. Uh, pedicels are fairly long, meaning you can individually grab and pick berries, and so you have the ability to kind of pick them with a, a dry stem scar. Uh, we usually have very good pack out with Hall, and usually you'll get upwards of 90% with a dry scar. Uh, and so that leads to a, a more marketable berries compared to some of the others, which have uh, tearing and uh, splitting in the stem scars. In terms of fruit quality, Hall is usually quite sweet. Uh, we'll get one or two degrees more bricks out of Hall than we do with something like Terra. Uh, it's more of a traditional muscadine in that it has a relatively soft flesh and the flesh does separate um, from the skin. So let's compare Hall to um, Terra which is right next door to it. This vine is Terra. As you can see Terra is not quite as yellow as a Hall is. Uh, a ripe hall will be a little bit darker in color than a terra. Uh, but as you get them up next to each other, relatively difficult to tell them apart. You could probably pack them together without too much trouble. Like I said, we like terra. Terra also picks quite well and is a pretty good vine. Uh, terra is maybe not quite as vigorous in vine growth as a hall. As you can see, it hasn't quite filled in the trellis yet on this vine. But the big problem with Terra has been um, if you get rainy weather it'll kind of have a weak flavor to it uh, and Terra occasionally will have a kind of an off muddy flavor to it and we haven't noticed that with Hall. Next vine here is Triumph. Triumph was released in, I think in the late 80s by the University of Georgia program. And Triumph is actually a parent of Terra and then Terra, Terra is a parent of Hall. And so this is kind of the grandparent of Hall here. As you can see, pretty good vigorous vine. Sets a good crop. The biggest issue we've had with it is this darker berry color. Uh, a ripe Triumph is kind of a pink color. And then as they proceed to get riper, it gets darker and darker in color. And this color, sometimes we've had trouble with it. Uh, when you get it in clamshells and things like that, it just looks like it's an overripe muscadine. And so you can see from the two berries on the top there are Hall, and the ones below are Triumph. And you can see that the Hall just has a much brighter color than does the Triumph. But overall, Triumph is a pretty good vine. Uh, we have several people in the department that like to pick Triumph for their muscadine because they really do like the flavor of it. Uh, and Triumph would be a good um, home garden or maybe pick your own variety. So that's Hall. Hall is our early season muscadine. Bronze, self-fertile. It'll be coming off. Uh, we're recording this on August 15th and Hall will be ripe uh, 
very end of July and beginning of August. So we really should have picked all at least a week ago and you probably could have started harvesting the early berries two weeks ago. Uh, and then you'd want to transition from haul into more of a mid-season variety.